Hey everyone, I'm Zockley and welcome to another update video. In today's update, we are adding STEAM achievements for space engineers. They already cover a pretty wide range of activities, so you can get hunting straight away. But we will also be adding more in the future as the game develops further. Moving on, you can now use double mouse click to activate hand tools continuously, which should come in handy for those longer survival sessions. An improvement made to sensor blocks is that you can now toggle on or off the detection of subgrids on a grid where a sensor is placed. The bugs fixed this week include button panel text only appearing for a short moment, ship dampeners seeing unfueled hydrogen thrusters as powered, and the properties of subgrids not being updated after changes are made. Lastly, we made some major changes to the programmable block API, including adding new Raycast functionality for cameras. If you're a scripter, you can find a link to the guide explaining these changes in the description box below. There will be some bigger updates over the coming weeks, including corner lights and corner LCDs and more parallelization. Meanwhile, the redesigned blocks are even nearer to completion as the artists are mostly working on LODs at this point. Also, the new multiplayer prototypes are currently undergoing internal testing and we look forward to sharing the results of this with you. But that's everything for now. If you're interested in the full list of features, bug fixes and improvements, please see the update changelog on our forums. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all next week and here's something to end on. I was going to come up with a space-related pun, but I didn't have enough time to plan it. <laughs>